Hello, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Andy South, uh, and I'm going to be talking about uh, mapping African health data in the uh, AfriMap R project that I'm leading, uh, where we're developing packages, training, and community. Um, and uh, the uh, picture of the Lego block on the front of this is to remind me that the, you know, the key idea about the project is about developing building blocks uh, so that analysts and our users in Africa can uh, develop uh, solutions to uh, local problems. So we're funded by the Welcome Open Research Fund. Uh, we started in uh, January 2020 and I'm based at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine in the UK. Um, so the AfriMap R strategy is uh, to develop building blocks, uh, R packages and other things, uh, training resources and um, community development. And so this is our uh, theory of change. We see a great potential to improve the use of routine public health and other data in Africa. And we're addressing it through the development of these uh, three uh, things that I was talking about earlier. And we see the potential to for there to be a much better use, uh, development and sharing of mapping and other data workflows uh, in Africa. And the people that can and are benefiting from that are government employees, data analysts, researchers, journalists, NGO staff, volunteers, or anyone working with data from Africa. And the potential in the long run for an improved use of open source software and open data ecosystems and better use of routine data to inform decision making. And so the real opportunity sort of just at the moment is that there are rapidly growing African data science uh, communities that are uh, visible online and active online. Um, uh, so our user groups in, in a number of um, African cities that are meeting uh, regularly, um, other uh, coding and uh, GIS uh, kind of related uh, community groups. And so these are the sorts of building blocks uh, that we have in mind. And some of these are in place already. And what we're trying to do is, is put them together better and make it easier to put them together better. So building blocks around open data, uh, around administrative boundaries, uh, more uh, kind of conventional R tools for joining and summarizing data, and then uh, tools for uh, visualization and, and making web applications. So these are um, some of the resources that we have. Um, you can have a look at our uh, website. So we've got a website here. Um, and so it's not just me, it's a good opportunity to introduce um, some of the team and thank the team that's been working with me. So I'm co-leading this project with an elder van der Velt who's uh, based in South Africa and uh, a number of other people who here who have been working uh, with us as well. And all of our code is uh, in the open, it's on GitHub, so you can go to our GitHub page to look at uh, some of the things that we've got there. We've got a number of um, R packages. Um, so uh, let's go back to the presentation. Um, So shortly after, you know, starting in January 2020, uh, obviously uh, COVID kind of happened shortly after that. And so one of the first things we really got into looking at was uh, open data on health facility locations in Africa, having seen that uh, open data on health facilities were being used, for example, in the UK, the US and Germany um, to kind of inform the response. Uh, we produced we started looking into it and then produced this paper of a, a reproducible analysis of uh, what data are available for uh, different countries. We found that the situation was more uh, kind of complicated than uh, one might hope. 
Um, so down on the lower left, this is sort of the, the data ecosystem for different sources of data. Uh, in some countries, um, data are made available from the uh, ministries of health. Um, there's also a, uh, a data set that was produced by the Camry Wellcome Trust a few years ago. And then there's OpenStreetMap uh, data as well. Uh, so what we did uh, was produce this reproducible analysis and made a, a kind of a web application. So we made a, a package uh, that makes it easier to compare the data and then uh, makes it easier to, uh, to, to create a web application that um, we can uh, look at those data in. So this uh, application is there. You can choose a country. You can uh, zoom in on a map. Uh, you can look at the different um, uh, sources of data. So one of the things we see here is that the OpenStreetMap data uh, made available through the Health Sites project, and we've been working with Mark Herringer, who's uh, leading that project, you can see that that's uh, much more sort of comprehensive or can be more comprehensive in urban areas, whereas in more rural areas, um, kind of less so. And we made tools to be able to look at, you know, what are the, the different types of facilities and also a, a summary of where data are made available um, uh, through uh, national uh, ministries of health. Uh, we've also been um, developing training materials. Uh, so one uh, sort of the first part of that, we're following a, a modular approach. Uh, was to develop an R package, uh, AFRI Learn Data, uh, that contains um, a number of example data sets for Africa so that they can be used by us and others uh, in kind of training materials. So relatively um, small data sets, uh, but all based in Africa. So data for points, lines, polygons, and rasters uh, that can be uh, put together. and then we've got some interactive uh, Learn R uh, tutorials uh, that uh, new users can experiment with on the web. So you don't need to have R installed. You can go in and uh, click through a tutorial. You can um, edit the code, press run code, and get to see online kind of what the uh, what happens. So it's a bit of a sort of a, a taster for uh, using R. Uh, we then um, have developed some of these things further. So we just uh, ran a, um, a tutorial at the Use R uh, 2021 conference a couple of months ago, but <coughs> in both French and English, and the resources uh, for that are available online too. And we uh, just uh, collaborated, or we just helped out our colleagues at the um, who were developing who were delivering some training for CDC Africa as well. Uh, we uh, also have uh, started up a, a, a regular monthly uh, community meetup uh, where we um, invite uh, people to present about their uh, work uh, mapping African data. And so we've got the next one of those is coming up uh, next Wednesday. And so we're, we're keeping going on this. So we, uh, we're uh, always on the lookout for more users and developers from Africa and elsewhere. So we encourage you to kind of share our resources and get in touch in any way. Reach out through our uh, Twitter account or you can contact me um, directly by email. Um, I should be in the chat space afterwards, so I'd be keen to uh, talk to every, to anyone. And uh, yeah, that's where we are, and I uh, look forward to talking to you. Thanks.